Um, so when sitting down with someone like Bashar al-Assad uh, in Syria, do you confront him directly and say, why do you order chemical attacks on your own people? Why do you cause the killings of over half a million people in your country? Look, you know, I, I want to break this down to what I mean, we're really talking about. It's really a yes about. or no uh, answer. No, 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 no I, I want to break this down to what we're it. talking about here today because you're talking about a meeting that took place what, three years ago? Well, Congressman, and every you're time I come your, back, no, every well, time I come back here on MSNBC, so, no, but I you guys talk to me about these issues. It sounds like these are in, talking points that Kamala Harris and her campaign are feeding you point, Congressman, because I think it's she's refusing to address the questions Congressman, it's that were important, posed to her. I think for the American people to have context about your foreign policy issues and where you stand. If you're leading with foreign I would policy love and to you're provide running for that the president of the United States, a meeting with Bashar al-Assad, which I'm sure you understand, is a very controversial meeting to take. Hence the reason why when you come on MSNBC, it is important for us to talk to you about that. And of course, every anchor has a different perspective and different questions to ask of you. Every so single time for three me, years. This is where the propaganda comes in, because I've, I've talked about this a lot for the last three years. And I've talked about how as a soldier, I served in a field medical unit in Iraq, where every single day, I saw the very high human cost of war. Every single day, the first thing that I did was go through a list name by name of every single American casualty and, and injury that had occurred the day before. So I will not apologize to you or to anyone, anyone Nobody for doing is all that I, Let me finish, let me finish okay. for doing all that I can, all that I can to prevent our country from continuing to make these perpetual wrong decisions that have taken a toll on the lives of my brothers and sisters in uniform. I will continue to do all that I can to make sure that we end these wasteful regime change wars that have taken such a toll on all of us and that have made our country less safe. And if that means having a meeting with a dictator, if that means trying to meet with uh, Kim Jong-un in North Korea to de-escalate tensions and remove this nuclear threat from our country and our people, whatever the crisis is, we've got to have a leader with the courage to do the right thing, 